Garfield James! You see this man by your screen? Garfield James is wanted for not paying him off his rent. The JLP division office in Sheffield, a three month now, he lucky not gonna pay the rent. But that's bad enough. You see, but Moya Wilson will never have this problem. But Garfield James is a war on this JLP boy. And it's a shame to do a party. You see, he's a, he's a JLP counselor, a principal, and just enough the peace. Three months now, we can't see Garfield, can't hear for Garfield. The people them need the rent is a wanted man for rent. Bring me money, come. This is Councillor James from the Sheffield Division, Western Westmoreland. There is a TikTok video presently in circulation where there are so many well thinking constituents who are alarmed and really upset about this particular TikTok video which speaks to or seek to promote lie in relation to my office. My office is intact, my office is up to date and there is no truth for this video. If my opponent wants to do a video he needs to come much better than that but I don't think he will be able to find anything to be able to do such a video but he should be reminded that there is a ton load of material ready and will be in circulation on him so he should brace himself for that because those videos definitely will be the facts Hello JPU family, welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. So guys, in this one, I want to hear the man that talk about Garfield James, not PM rent, this and that. Let me tell you not how it really go. Garfield James, if you guys remember correctly, is one of the councillors from the PNP who left the party and crossed over the floor with councillor Ian Miles after Mark Golden and Dayton Campbell them disrespected them. They went into the local election and they won their seats because based on my information, they're both well loved and regarded by the people. They are educators and servants of the people. So I would say they've become an asset to the Jamaica Labour Party. Ian Hales, in contrast, lost his seat in Hanover and he found himself all the way in Westmoreland trying to look a seat, but he cannot get one because the people them know him lose because he never had to do no political work. So they don't want him more than so. But he's there as the MP caretaker and him all, you know, they all about the place that look problem, trying to undermine, sabotage, and defame the two educators who are there. Because him here say, one of them is going to be his opponent in the general election. So right off the bat from him here, that me here say people him cannot sleep. If it is true that the Jamaica Labour Party is going to let one of these men go up against Ian Ailes. It is the most strategic and it will be the most exciting to see because Ian Ailes will 110% be sure to get a proper, proper whooping in that election. And he knows it. Mark Golden knows it. Dayton Campbell knows it. All of them, they are aware. Ian Hales cannot hold a candle to these two gentlemen here. So all this underhanded thing that he's doing, you know, it's just another, because he's this is his hallmark. Remember, this Ian Hales guy is the same guy who got take the, the residence video, picture me mean, and video them property put on social media to life on them. Ian Hales and the Rise United movement have become a walking delusion. They are not in their right frame of mind. Something is wrong. The things that they're doing. I want to say something to the LGBT community in Jamaica. The young men in particular who have been recruited by Bunting, 
and members of the Rise United movement. Young guys, you all don't have to be doing this. I know that Rise and Bunting them take uno up, promise uno, you know, a bright future. If uno get on social media and blog for them, defaming people, telling lies on people, that is not politics. Let's just start there. If you have to lower yourselves and do things like that to feel a sense of hope, then there's really no hope. Because the people who mean you well, they're going to encourage you to do the right thing. They're not going to encourage you to harm and destroy other people. Because if that is how you climb the ladder, the ladder is going to fall from underneath. You, know? you understand? Look at the history of Peter Bunting in politics. The method that he has used in politics is what got him where he is right now. When he used the same style of politics to wrestle his party away from his former leader. And you see what happened to him? He came crashing down, including losing his seat. So that should be an example of bunting style of politics, which you don't want to do. There's nothing wrong with belonging or feeling a sense of belonging or wanting to be a part of a movement. A movement that is good. A movement that does not harm people. Peter Bunting have you guys in a cult. It's not a movement to move Jamaica forward in any way at all. Look at the condition of the PNP. That is your example. So you don't have to do these things on social media that they're telling you guys to do or paying you guys to do. Seek out opportunities. There are opportunities in Jamaica that can help you to become a better person. Because you see people who really, you know, have their ducks in a row, young people, you know, who are on a path to success, they don't have time to be on social media defaming and telling lies on people. That's what Bunting, ha Bunting has you guys doing. There's opportunity for education, skill training, and so on and so forth. So seek those avenues until you've reached your full potential. Don't let these people lead on down a part of destruction. Them say, what drop off a head, drop on shoulder. Bunting is a walk in destruction. People like this, you don't want to mix energy with them. You want to stay away from them because their sins are always following them. And they are followers of Lucifer. So chart your own course. You don't have to do this. This is not politics and this is not nice. Don't let Bunting, Ian Hills and those people put on, on social media to destroy other people. That's not nice. The bed that you make, you shall surely lie in it. Politics is not about lying on people. It's about telling truth. Don't aid and abet Trumpism in Jamaica, where people just come and tell blatant lies that you can prove wrong and cause other people harm. Look at what disinformation caused the UK. There is a, an unrest going on right now because of disinformation. People getting hurt. The police cannot manage. All sort of thing. So if you know the truth, speak the truth. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you're going to take cues from people from wannabe politicians because people like Ian Ills and Bunting are no politician. When you're going to take cues from them and take information from them, which, which is not true, that is your credibility. Keep that in mind. Guys, you are listening to Jamaica Politics Uncovered for your latest political news, reviews and updates straight from out of Jamaica. Make sure you're subscribed, you have your notification on, and yeah, invite your friends then for come over here. So come hang out and listen to the latest where our politics is concerned. Talk to you in the next video.